adventures of The Saint, starring Tom Conway. The Saint, based on characters created by Leslie Charteris and known to millions from books, magazines, and motion pictures. The Robin Hood of modern crime now comes transcribed to radio, starring Hollywood's brilliant and talented actor Tom Conway as... The Saint. Coming. Oh. Yes? Uh, ain't you going to ask me in, partner? Look, cowboy, if you've lost your horse, uh, I... Let me in. I got to talk to you. I got to. All right. Uh, come in, partner. What can I do for you? You Templar, the man they call the Saint? That's what's engraved on my halo. Well, uh, I'm McGowan. They call me Tex. Well, um, it fits. Born and raised in Texas and aiming to die there. Uh, somebody's stopping you? Somebody don't care where it happens, just so long as it's now. Here, look at this hat. Hmm. A funny place for air holes. Not so funny when they're bullet holes, though. Run out of rustlers to shoot at? I was bushwhacked, partner. I was stepping out of a taxi and some sidewinding bushwhacking pool cat took a shot at me. Well, we'll head him off at Eagle Pass. Go on. Well, I came to New York to have fun, not to be killed. Well, that's logical. You reckon you can ride shotgun on me? You've got me confused with the police department. I understand they have a special bureau that does nothing but protect visiting cars. I don't want the police department. I'll pay. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not in business. Uh, look, money's money and you're human. Oh, so you've noticed that, have you? And I ain't exactly a poor man. Raising beef's a big money business these days. Yes, yeah, so is buying it. Uh, what do you fellas fatten those cows on that makes a steak so expensive? Broccoli? <laughs> Hey, you don't want my money? Oh, it's only money. Uh, how about a cow? Oh, that's an interesting thought. Uh, but the management of this apartment house is so stuffy. The only livestock permitted is dogs and cats. Oh, I don't mean a cow on the hoof, one for the broiler. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon? When I get home, I'll personally airmail you once a week the best darn steak this side of Fort Worth. Oh, you interest me. Well? I'm bought. Go ahead and brand me. Uh, good. Uh, you made me feel better. You made me feel hungry. To see that I don't get killed, partner, that's all you're supposed to do. I um, always like to do a little more than I'm supposed to. I'll see that neither of us gets killed. Now, what's all the shooting for? In a couple of days, I'm going to Chicago to have a talk with the fella. The fella knows I'm coming, and he ain't hankering none to see me. Oh, so he sends someone to head you off with a gun. Yeah. Hmm? Why? Oh, it's just a little business matter. You see, he... Oh, but come on, partner. Tell you all about it somewhere else. This is New York City. Let's go live it up some. And we can talk during it. And what have you got in mind? Heard about a saloon where a dozen pretty gals come out and dance the can-can. <laughs> I'm fixing to cut one up from the herd. Yahoo! <laughs> Hey, Jack. What's the matter, partner? All out of bubble water? No, but that little talk for a gun. Waiter! I... Where's that other case of champagne I ordered? You haven't told me what he did. Well, who's that, Simon? The fellow in Chicago. Oh, him. The varmint's only been short waiting me on my beef, that's all. Know what I mean? Yes, my butcher invented it. A thousand head of... That's it, boys. Fill up them glasses. We're gonna liver up tonight. <laughs> Where are we now, Mr. Templer? Greenwich Village? 52nd Street. Now, about Chicago. Say, you know, uh, I got a sudden hankering to see that old horse of mine. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, please, Tex, don't cry. Now, when you get to Chicago... He's just an old cow pony, but I wouldn't swap him for all the horses in Kentucky. Yes, I felt that way about a girl once. Now, about the man in Chicago. Oh, that cringing fool cat. Oh, so you do remember him. He underweighed a thousand head of my steers on a rigged-up scale. Cost me 20, maybe 30 pounds a head. Oh, that's a lot of T-bones. Who is this fellow? Oh, he's... I uh, uh, just now decided something. What? Next time I come to New York City, I'm bringing that old horse with me. 
got a feeling he'd kind of like all this. Where are we now, partner? 52nd Street. No, Greenwich Village. Who'd you say the man in Chicago was? The critter who's been jobbing all my cattle out of the Chicago market the last ten years or so. Yahoo! Uh, Prozac. No telling how many pounds of beef he bamboozled me out of in all that time. So you're going to blow the whistle on him, huh? Huh? Meaning what? Tell the police. Nope. I ain't even telling you, partner. I want this critter all to myself, Texas style. Yahoo! That Yankee music is wonderful. Warms a waddy's blood. Where do we go from here? Home. Here, buddy. Hotel Wentworth. Just wait here a moment, driver. Take a little walk before you pay off the cab driver. Only when I'm playing bodyguard. How much? One forty, it says. Who are you looking for? Brownies. Help me haul my cowboy friend inside, will you? I don't think I'll be able to wake him. <laughs> Not wake him. He left. What? There's a saloon across the street, buddy. He's making a beeline for it. Oh, for the love of God! Wait a minute, a buck forty. Here, keep the change. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Tex, wait a minute, you darn fool. I... Tex! Tex! Stand back, brother. Do you want it, too? You murderous rat, you dirty... So you do want it, okay? Now it's a gun jam. Now it's going to be jammed down your throat, killer. I'm going to... Oh. Nice work, Stan. Come on, Nick. Let's get out of here. Hello, nurse. And how are we today? You're fine. How am I? I'll let you know just as soon as I've checked your pulse. What are you doing for dinner tonight? I have a date. Mm, Too bad. Besides, you're not leaving the hospital until tomorrow. How can you ask me out? Oh, it's uh, just a form of exercising. You're very beautiful. Mr. Templer, if you keep me talking, how can I check your pulse? Why bother? To see if it's normal, of course. Well, if my pulse is normal when you check it, then uh, I'm not. Oh, you and your jokes. Oh, I I forgot. You have another visitor. Oh, blonde or brunette? Redhead. Oh, cute? I think so. Mm, But you wouldn't. No? It's that nice young lieutenant from the Homicide Bureau. Oh, again. I, uh, I suppose it would be pointless to tell him I'm out. Zeppelin? Obviously. Come in, Lieutenant Barden. I was just going. Thank you, Molly. You're welcome, Lieutenant. You, um, you don't have to ask, Lieutenant Barden. The answer is no. Thanks. Now it's the question. Have I remembered anything I forgot to mention about Tex McGowan's killer? Isn't it? No. Nope. This time I'm here with an invitation. Oh, a party. The morgue. And, oh, that the doctor told me I was past the critical stage. The picture morgue down at headquarters. More romantically known as Rugs Gallery. Oh, you want me to look at faces? Yeah, as soon as you're strong enough. Might just be that the guy who dumped McGowan left his face with us one time or another. Well, it'll be a nice change in the routine. Uh, what will? Uh, getting out of here. Hand me my clothes, Lieutenant. Now, wait a minute. You're not due to bow this joint till tomorrow. Lieutenant Varden, are you a public servant? Well, I'm a cop, so I'm a public servant. Hand me my clothes. You sure? Positive. Besides, there's very little point in a patient staying in the hospital when he's making so little progress. Clearing up a concussion in three days' time isn't progress? Uh, I mean, with that nurse. I'm not getting anywhere. Yeah, I know. You know? Uh Uh-huh. Because I am. Oh. Now, don't look at me like that, Saint. We public servants got to live, too, you know. Mm. Well, come on. We'll go look at pictures. Well? No. This one? No. No. Take a look through these. No. Oh. 
I'll take this one. Huh? Oh, for... The... <laughs> How did a pinup girl's picture get in here? I don't know, but it certainly breaks the monotony. This one? No. This? No. How about... No. One of these? Well, well. The guy who killed Tex McGowan? No, my old geometry teacher. <laughs> Pardon me, no. Him? Mm -mm. Hey. Yeah, I know. The boy most likely to succeed in your graduating class. The boy most likely to get the electric chair for shooting down Tex McGowan. At last. You sure? Like Stanley finding Livingston. See, Nick Nemushenko, check Chicago police files. It's practically done. Thanks, Tupper. Thanks, refused. I've got a slight interest in this trigger man myself, you know. If you don't believe me, ask my head. Uh, I see what you mean. Will you stay until I check on Nemoshenko? I'll stay. Well? I got Nemoshenko. Where? Chicago. Cops out there grabbed him when he came off a plane. Good. You going? Uh-huh. You want it? Delighted. Nice of you to ask. You can clinch the identification for us. When are we leaving? Well, there's a train at midnight... Enough time for you? I'll go home and pack a bag. Suppose I pick you up at your apartment in about half hour? I'd be ready. Thanks again for the invitation, Varden. And, uh, Lieutenant, mm? I uh, think I'll forgive you. Forgive me? For stealing my nurse while I was unconscious. <laughs> vegetable or mineral. I'm the fella that watched you come out of the little building at police headquarters where they keep the pictures. Well, it's an interesting hobby, I admit, but... I uh... slugged you once, Saint, when my cousin's gun jammed up the other night. I guess now I gotta make it more permanent. Uh, don't bother on my account. It's on my cousin's account. You're the only fella can send him to the hot seat. You're the only eyewitness. He killed that cowboy. Uh, you'll, uh... Excuse me while I get on with my packing, won't you? I... Where you're going, say, you ain't gonna need to pack nothing for. No? You think you're going to Chicago, but you ain't, say. Well, must you be poetic at a time like this? You ain't gonna go to Chicago and put no finger on Nick. Oh, now, wait a minute. I... Are you gonna go to Chicago when I'm gonna beat you to death right here in New York? Well, it's me. Oh. You call that an answer? Who's that? Detective Lieutenant Varden. Would you like to meet him? We'll see you again, sir. Come in, Varden. Butler? What? what are you sitting on the floor for? I've been entertaining. You know, company. Yeah? What happened to him? Oh, well, no use going after them. Out the service door. Tranquilly flew. Shy? Only of policemen. So he belted you, huh? They caught me with my vitality down. Remember, I was a hospital case only the day before yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need protecting. Come on, let's catch that train. You can tell me the whole sad story on the way to the station. Oh. It's a good thing this train had a second coat of paint. Because that's what we caught it by. Here. This is us, drawing room D. Excuse me. Could one of you gentlemen tell me where to find drawing room C? Yeah. The one right there? Uh, you'd better let me handle it, Varden. You policemen are so abrupt. Uh, drawing room C? Uh huh. Uh-huh. I'm so helpless on trains. Oh, that's a pity. I'm always lost. Uh, I'm always finding things. Are you? I. Oh, there's drawing room C, right next to yours. We're neighbors. Well, sometimes that's. Uh... A very interesting relationship. If you should ever want to borrow anything, neighbor, I... Oh, I've got everything. Yes, you have. But if you should need something... Well, after all, what are neighbors for? I never was really sure until now. Well, goodbye, neighbor. You know, Lieutenant, these trains are getting better equipment all the time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
you, Diovan. Lieutenant. Hmm? Oh, what's my day on? Get her off your mind. She'll be there when you get back. Although they are rather prone to elope with interns. Templar, what are you talking about? My nurse, or uh, should I say our nurse. Get her off your mind and start concentrating on who hired Nick Nikoshenko to smoke down Tex McGowan. Hey, hey, where are you going? Uh, you don't have to be a detective to guess that. Oh, yeah. uh, uh-huh. I'm uh, tired of cards. I'm, I'm going to be neighborly for a while. See, I uh, knew it would come to this. I'd like to borrow something. Uh, what have you got in mind? Oh, uh, anything. What have you got? Maybe we'd better talk it over. My name's Linda Jarvis. Simon Templer. Oh, it sounds very distinguished. Won't you come in? All my life I've been easily persuaded. Now, I want you to tell me all about yourself. You going to Chicago for business? Pleasure? Well, uh, it started out to be business. And your friend, when I first met you in the corridor before, didn't didn't I hear you say he was a, a policeman? Oh, did you? I'm simply fascinated by crime and policemen, and I bet you're going to Chicago to arrest somebody. Oh, you must tell me about it, please. It, it, it's so fascinating. Only in the comic books. The man you're going to arrest, what did he do? Is he a bank robber, a murderer? Please tell me everything. I'm all ears. You are? Well, fancy that. Oh, Simon. So enjoyed the trip, but you didn't tell me half of what I expected to hear about crime and criminals. Well, and... there were many more important things to talk about. Uh, do you happen to have a phone number handy? Only my own. But I don't think I'm going to give it to you. Now, is that being neighborly? Why, we were... Uh-oh. Hmm? Lieutenant Varden, on his way to fetch me, and there's an impatient look on his face. Look, Linda, when can I see you again? Temporary, I... I don't mean to break up what appears to be a beautiful friendship, but we're expected at Chicago Police Headquarters today. In other words, right about... <laughs> oh! Varden! Got me in the arm. No, only in the arm. Linda! She blew right after the shot. Look, I'll be all right. You go after her. All right, Barton. Excuse me, please. Let me through, please. Please, let me through. Come on. Cab, buddy. A girl, tall, brunette. You see her? In that cab. The one turning out up there. Hey, follow her. Hurry. Her cab stop it. So I see. Pull up to the curb right here. She's getting out. Going in that apartment house. Okay. This is the end of the line. Wait for me. It ain't gonna be long, is it? My shift ends in a half an hour. I've been pushing this hack all night. I'll be back in a few minutes. Don't worry about it. Flowers for Miss Jarvis. Flowers for... Oh. All right. So I'm not a rose. No, you can't come in. Sure I can, see? I'm in. How dare you? This is outrageous. Not nearly as outrageous as putting a finger on a fellow so that a rifleman knows who to shoot down. I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Oh, sure you have, baby. Sure you have. That bullet was for me, wasn't it? Lieutenant Barton just happened to stroll into it. Simon, darling, why should... Why should I want to have you killed? I don't know you that well. But you know me well enough to know that I'm the only eyewitness to a murder. And that I should be eliminated, don't you? But I... What reason would I have... If I should fail to identify a certain Nick Nimoshenko as the gunman who shot down Tex McCann, then the possibility of Mr. Nimoshenko's telling who hired him to do the job is very slight. I still have no idea what you're talking about. Then suppose we go down to police headquarters and I'll tell you all about it. Well, it's about time. 
How long was I supposed to keep him talking before you were ready to swing that club? Oh, I thought I'd let him feel he was living for a while. You know, Linda, I told this sucker he hadn't ought to come to Chicago. Oh. <laughs> I told him. up, is he? Uh-huh. Oh, splendid. There's some questions I must ask him. He's beginning to flutter his eyes, boys. What? Oh, yes, sir. What are you three staring at? Have, haven't you ever seen a man with two heads before? Feeling better, Mr. Templer? Not as good as when I was unconscious. It can be a rain sucker. Making you unconscious is how I earn my pay. You had a better future when you were swinging through the trees. Huh? At least you were your own boss. That mean you're calling me an ape? <sighs> the fur fits, wear it. All right, wise guy. Now Never I'll... Never mind, Stanley. Uh... Stanley. Throw him a banana. Why? Oh, Stanley! All right, I'll... Better not irritate him, Simon, darling. He's hot-headed. And soon he'll be sitting in a chair that's going to make him hot all over. And so will you, Linda. Oh, and last night on the train, you said such sweet things to me. Remember? I remember. Next time I go anywhere, I'll ride a freight. You meet a better class of tramps. George, he's grouchy. Aren't you, Simon, darling? Stop pestering him, Linda. Let's get on with this. Yes, let's. Uh, Tex McGowan was a talkative man, was he not? You tell me. It's hardly likely that you'd agree to interest yourself in this affair without knowing all the facts. Uh, facts uh, concerning me. Uh, who are you? Uh, what do you do besides uh, train apes? George Haggerty, I'm a cattle broker. Oh, I'll bet you haven't been called Honest Wade Haggerty much lately. Ah, so he did tell you. Uh, what you do to a scale could uh, outmode reducing diets. What else did McGowan tell you? Uh, you've had it, No Springs. Stanley. Okay, poor. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> all right, all right, Stanley. Let's keep him conscious for a while, shall we? Uh, you needn't bother. Uh, Mr. Temple, I trust you don't think all this is just idle curiosity on my part. Oh, don't apologize. I want to know how much McGowan told you so that I'll know how much you might have told the police. Thanks for the blueprint. What I mean is, if certain facts are known to the police, then it might be, uh... Well, it's quite possible, that is, that they'll be able to... Stop stabbing yourself. You want to know if the police have anything that establishes you as Nemoshenko's sponsor. Well, uh, have they? Next time you see your barber, get the top of your head shaved. The ones up at Sing Sing are so messy. You're lying. They don't know. Okay, I'm lying. Sweat it out, killer. Sweat it out. You mean beat it out, don't you? Stanley. How much? Went over lightly again? Not too lightly. But don't kill him until later. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Templer, going to talk to me now? What's the use, George? I'll never tell the truth. I know. I had a date with him. You're boasting. This is just a waste of time. Let Stanley get it over with. Yeah, that's what I say, boss. If the cops knew anything about us, they'd have been here a long time ago. Yes, I suppose you're right. All right, Stanley. How do you want it done? Oh, anyway, I don't care. Well, I do. Well, that's what attracted me to you from the start, Linda. You looked like a neat housekeeper. Shut up. All right, take him out of here and throw him into Lake Michigan. Uh, but uh, I didn't bring my bathing suit. Who? I have the least idea. Shall I answer it? You have to. The doorman knows you're in. Very well. Whoever it is, get rid of him and fast. Yes, what? Let me in. I'm yes, looking what? for a guy and I'm going to pin his ears back. That's what I'm going to do. But I... Look here, you can't burst into here like oh, that. Oh, I can't. What? You'd be surprised at what I can do when I'm sore and believe me, I'm... Oh. So oh, there you are. Hello, Captain Carson. Go, go, giving me no lip, brother. I told you I was off duty in a half an hour, and you said that you... Hey, how'd you get your face all banged up? Oh, it's all in the day's work. What's going on here? You've got your men stationed at all possible ex exits, Captain? Well, I... Uh, Haven't you, Captain? Well, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah they're, they're surrounding the whole building. Fine, Captain. And here are your three murderers, just as I promised. Now we'll Wait see. a minute. This doesn't look like any cop I've ever seen. No, I... Don't let him reach for that gun. Oh, no, you're not. Let me go. Give me that. Gun. 
Thank you. Stanley, Stanley, get him, get him. Not me. I ain't going to hit no cop. Spoken like a gentleman of the old school. Not when they got all the exits covered, especially. I'm giving up. That's using your head, Stanley. Stanley, he isn't a... Here you are, Captain. Here's my gun. I'm ready to confess. I don't want your gun. I just want Take to... it, you fool. Take it. Okay, I'll got it. Now do I get my fare? Yes, you get your fare, my friend. And you know what I'm going to give you for a tip? What's that? A new cab. But first, get on the phone and tell the police to come over, will you? Tell them there are some people here I'd like them to meet. You have been listening to another transcribed adventure of The Saint, the Robin Hood of modern crime. And now, here is our star, Tom Conway. Ladies and gentlemen... In our cast, you heard Joyce McCluskey as Linda and Sandra Gould as the nurse. Brooke Temple played Tex. Ted DeCorsi as George. Lamont Johnson was the lieutenant. Ed Max Stanley and Howard McNear, the cab driver. And this is Tom Conway inviting you to join us again next week at the same time for another exciting adventure of The Saint. Good night. Tonight's script of The Saint was written by Michael Cramoy. The Saint, based on characters created by Leslie Charteris, is a James L. Safier production and is directed by Helen Mack. Your announcer, Hal Gibney. NBC, the national broadcasting company. <laughs>